Good morning, guys. Welcome back to this week's goals. We're gonna do a this 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 week's goals this week because yo yo today is Monday, August twenty third. Hopefully, this comes out. One of the things I would like to do is start catching up on videos. I have a ton, 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 ton of footage for both channels. Um, so we would like to really knock those things out. We'll see what happens. We're about to take a shower, get ready for work. Um, I need to get this house in order. Like, look at all of this. I just got back from Seattle and Alaskan cruise. So I need to... <laughs> unpack properly but there's actually a little bit of method to this madness because I also need to make some videos um but yeah we need to wash all the clothes we need to do all of the things this week is gonna be an interesting week because I know on Thursday I have a cleaning appointment Thursday Wednesday, I'm supposed to be going by Kwame's because he is leaving. End of an era. He's moving to a whole nother place. And um, selling his home here. So he won't be here no more. And so I'm supposed to try to go over there on Wednesday to try to see him before he peace out to Northern Virginia. And then on Tuesday, y'all, we got the whole infamous court appointment. The eviction court process and so today is Monday so Monday I need to get all of my paperwork together for that for that court date and then also talk to um, somebody who's been through the process before in the same county that I'm going to to get some heads up or some advice or whatever from her and then also check to see if she's gonna come because she is a key witness so we'll see how that, all of that goes I know I know it's the day before the court date and today is the day I'm getting it all together but yo that's the way it all works. All right, let me go get dressed. All right, y'all. All right, so today is the day that we are going to court to um see what happens. I am, how do I feel? I feel good. I don't feel nervous. I don't feel anxious. I do feel that I'm running a tad bit later than I would like because I thought I was gonna have time to go through somebody's drive through and get something to eat which is actually a good sign a sign that I even feel like I can eat you know like I don't feel no ways tired <laughs> so I feel pretty good but the only thing I did do was underestimate the time that it was gonna take to get out of here so I left my house around 7 a.m. this morning and according to my nav I am not gonna get there till 8 30 a.m. and my court is at 9 a.m. I am the type of person I like being early. I do not like running late. I like being early so that I can navigate the course, figure out what I need to figure out, be where I need to be. Oh, this is my mother calling. Ooh, bitch, slow down because that's also a cop. Y'all, we here at the world famous Kwame Alexander. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this was the kit used at the farmer's market to sell acoustic rooster in 2011-2012. This is the kit. $99 at Walmart. Wow. This is how I pay my rent. Wow. Two years selling right? books. Right? And then this is the chair. <laughs> this is the chair. Right here. This is the chair where I wrote the crossover. And her new Yes. Yes. Look how worn and torn this thing is. And yes. Chair was, I spent I spent a lot of money on this chair. It was like $79 <laughs> at Office Depot. That's <laughs> it's all and, and it, it was all my money. It was all I had, but I needed a comfortable chair to write in. But this is where this this is where the magic happens. That's where it happens. I feel like I should autograph this chair. Don't sell it on eBay. Is this budget mama? <laughs> My Why you gotta be budget mom? You know what? This is not no budget mama. Budget what? Fun and budget. Fun and budget. All right, fun and budget. Sorry, I thought it was budget mama. Oh, this is the chair. This is the staple chair right here. Mm. I'm gonna miss this chair. Yeah. The <laughs> Too funny. This is where we are on a Wednesday morning when I'm supposed to be at work. <laughs> 
But so Kwame is giving these things to me, right? And he's gonna put the stuff in his truck and bring it to my house because obviously Zen can only fit but so much. Oh, it comes out. Come on, yeah. Or take it out. Okay, you know, we needed one of them. My board is raggedy. Y'all, it's an end of an era. Kwame is leaving. He flies out to London tonight. And so this was my last opportunity to see him before he left out. And then so when I came, um, he, this was the last of his stuff before the people came for donations. So I took the stuff before the donations, took the stuff, some of the stuff. And so this is the stuff I have in my car, like a table, because I'm always having events, this mirror, that shelf. And then Kwame, could you sign my record player? I got to go. I got to go get, I got to go pick up something. You told me to interview you. I know, but I don't have time. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to run. It's, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a mogul. This is what happens when you're a mogul. You can't be waiting on the little people. See what, see what I'm saying? On the budget saying? mamas of the world. <laughs> Running budget is the way to go. Oh my goodness, sign my record player. He said I had too much going on. Autograph. Yay. Yay. Hey guys, so it's about 8 p.m. I'm just getting home from work and I see that my every plate box came in. Here it is. Let's bring that in the kitchen. And honestly, I haven't gotten one of these boxes in a long time because I travel so much and I still have food in the fridge and the freezer. So let's see what's in this box. I don't even remember. All right, so if they put the meals on these big cards, I kind of don't like that. This, the smaller cards were easier. Battery's gonna die and we don't even have another battery. Good morning, y'all. Okay, uh, it's Thursday. I'm still here at home. It's almost going to be going on 9 o'clock. It's like about 8.30. And I've just been living my best get to work whenever I want life this week. Monday, I think I got to work at a decent time. I think I got to work about 9.30, actually. Because I'm still doing, um, what's that thing called? Where you come from the West Coast to the East Coast? And you're in different time zones, jet lag, but not jet lag in a way that I felt tired. Jet lag in a way that um I was staying up all night. Like um it'd be one in the morning feeling like it was 10 p.m. to me. And so I would just be up, like I ain't ready to go to bed. And then of course I wake up later, and waking up later meant about 7, 8 p a.m. So I would get to work. I would get to work a little later. I need, we need some earrings, y'all. And then Tuesday, y'all know we had um, a court date. So I didn't get to work till 1 p.m. But that was also because after the court date, because my friend Carla came with me, we decided to live our best lives. Because, you know, when do you get to play with your friends in the middle of the work week? So we went to eat at um, Cracker Barrel for breakfast, um, being that I hadn't eaten before court. So that was fun. So I got to work about one. I stayed to work about nine. No, the day before I stayed to work at until 9 p.m. That day I stayed to work till about 7 p.m. And then yesterday, I got to work late. I got to work like about 10. Well, I got on the clock at 10 because I had a 10 o'clock phone call. So I was on my phone call at 10 a.m. while I was driving. Um, yeah, because it's a meeting and we can do it from wherever. Um but I think I, well, I got to work about 1030, but that was because I went yesterday and played with my friend Kwame Alexander before work because he was leaving to, y'all know, y'all seen the footage, London. I mean, he'll be coming back. See, he got business. He be doing the things all around the country, all around the world, y'all. So that's very motivating. And I can't wait till one day my life goes in that direction. I'm not going to say I can't wait to do that one day. Because, you know, we don't know how something feels until we're actually doing it. And then when we're doing it, we're like, wait a minute. Ugh, I'm tired. This isn't what I thought it would be. So I'm just so appreciative of where I'm at when I'm at that 
place. I'm very happy for that and very grateful for that. Now, today is Thursday, and like I told y'all, it's like about 8.30, so I'll probably be getting to work around 9-ish, um, which isn't bad. The thing about it, though, is today is the day the cleaners come, so I have to leave work at 1. So technically, on days like this, I normally get to work super early so I can get my hours in, but today I'll be getting to work at a very average time. So therefore I might have to go back to work after the clean is finished today. I did edit a video this morning and I got that up and good, ready to go at nine. And um, we're doing the Nashville series right now in case you guys wanna go over there and sitting in the tree and check it out. And with the Nashville series, we are implementing the prices, the cost of things from what I can remember and from what I have in my records. I did not do a good job in real time because there are things that maybe Jay paid for that I didn't track. Um, but the things that I know or I remember or I have my notes of, I'm putting in there. All right. So the cleaners come today, y'all. Look at this. This is the problem area. This is my room. So when I come home around one, I need to try to get up in this room real quick. <laughs> And I'm going to tell y'all right now, what I'm probably going to just do is throw things back in the suitcase just to get it off of the floor and out of the way. But Hey, y'all. Mm. I still have that stuff rattling around in the back of my car. So we're going to take that stuff out. So, guys, we're leaving work now. We did four hours. Four hours. And what I love about this week is I feel like I got to do everything that I wanted to do. And what that means is play with my friends. It ain't got nothing to do with being an adult or doing real work. But I did get to do a lot of playing with my friends and then going to work around that time. And what I love is today, like I'm only doing four hours. The other day I only worked six hours. But tomorrow I'm shooting to work at least nine hours. And then that just puts me just two hours behind a 40 hour work week. But this is week one. So next week, all I have to do is make up two hours of time. But even if I don't make up two hours of time, it's okay because it's just two hours of paid time off that I'll use. Now, I'm not going to say just two hours because I did just come off a vacation where I used over 40 hours of vacation time. But what I'm saying is at the end of the day, I'm not worried. I'm not stressed. Y'all, I have a list. It's 20 things on the list. We didn't go over the 20 things because I think that that's boring. Y'all listening to me read out the list. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to see the list? Or can we just do the week? And then all the stuff I don't do. Y'all ain't never going to know about it. <laughs> Two more things that I want to do. One is I need to call and find out some more information on this process um, of getting a tenant removed from your home. And then the second thing I want to do is call my home insurance to find out two things. One, I need to make sure because now I'm paying my own escrow, so I'm paying my own insurance. And then somebody also said something about loss of rental income could be covered. So I need to check on those things. And that's all. That's all. That's the that's the remaining outstanding things that I have on my list in this Thursday. 20 minutes I've been talking to y'all. How's that going to go? With the rest I'm of home and Quams came by earlier today while I was at work and left left this stuff on my porch. So yay. The only thing that's here that wasn't in the deal was this, which I actually need this footstool because I'm normally good for dragging around chairs around the house to um, get high places. So I'm going to start carrying this stuff in the house now. Okay, so it's 3.03. .03. The cleaner's arrival time is between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So they're still not here. But let me show you guys what I was able to accomplish all right, so I got my recyclables put out and stuff like that. Now, what still needs to be happen here is I feel like I'm going to put stuff in the dishwasher. Oh, these dishes are clean in the dishwasher. So I think I'm going to... Wait, are they clean? And when you don't know if they're clean or not, 
that means you got to wash them again. All right, so we're going to wash this stuff again. And we are going to put stuff in the dishwasher because even though a lot of that is hand wash, I don't always trust everybody's hand washing. And the dishwasher can give it a good sterilizing. So that's what we're going to do. I moved in all the stuff that was on the porch into the home. And look, 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 look. That's our new addition to our home. That's the um, record player that I got from Kwame. He says it works. But what I did is I had him sign it. Remember his autograph? But then I also realized technically it should have been signed like this way. But he signed it when it was in the car and, and that's the way it was facing in the car. But it is what it is. So that is signed. So that home is going to be right here. And then the other things... The chair and this easel board, I just set right here for now. That mirror is a new addition to our home. It's not going to be in here because this room is, is small. But I stuck it in here for now. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to move this to the bigger bedroom and then move the mirror that's in the bigger bedroom. That's a door mirror on the back of the door. I'm going to move that in here and it'll be on the back of this door because space is everything. My room my room, my room. Hey. Okay, y'all. We got the stuff up off the floor. It is most of the things I put back in that suitcase. And this black backpack. I still need to wash clothes. Look, clothes, clothes. That's That needs to be washed. The stuff in there. This stuff, this clothes in there. But I'm not doing any of that stuff just yet. What I want to do though is clean I mean fold up these clean clothes put this stuff away so the house is ready to be clean as soon as they get here so while I'm waiting for them to get here what I'm gonna do is work on folding these clothes and then we'll start editing videos while they're cleaning that's the process all right guys it's 3 33 right now make a wish make a wish 3 33 Wish made. Okay, so the cleaners still aren't here, but I did get all of that stuff folded and put up. Now I can do another load of laundry. I do not like having so much laundry where it's so much clean clothes that's just sitting there looking crazy. So I tell myself when I finish that, I can now wash another load. And then that load can sit there and look crazy. I'm also realizing, I'm about to call the cleaners. I'm also realizing that I ain't ate all day. I, did I always tell y'all this? I just had a cup of coffee. That is it. And it is 3.33. And I'm about to be starving. All right, y'all. It is 4.05. The cleaners still aren't here. Um, I was, I got every, the dishwasher is going. I got a load of clothes in the wash machine. I got everything that I want to pick up, picked up. And so I reached out to the cleaning, to the company, Jessica, she's so sweet. And she's like, are they still not there? I was like, they're not here. And she says, oh my goodness, let me call and figure out what's going on. So she did and then she called me back and she was like, she is so sorry. And so this go around, she was like, this is ridiculous. Like this, they're like an hour late. She says, because you leave work to meet with them. I said, yeah, and I normally go back to work after they clean. And so she says, I'm gonna comp this cleaning. So for free, they're gonna do it free. And I said, well, no, maybe half, how about that? And she says, no, I'm comping it because she was like, this is just ridiculous at this point. She said, so all is well because I didn't plan on going back to work today anyway. Remember I told y'all, four hours. And um, I got a lot done before they got there as far as getting things going, as far as cleaning is concerned. And hey, they're here now and it's going to be free. So boom, I get to add that 140 back to my budget. It's all good. It's all good. House is going to be clean. So excited. In other news, y'all, my toilet, the toilet is just running, 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 so I do need to get a plumber out. But guess what, y'all? That ain't even going to be on this this week's list. That's going to be on next week's list because I ain't got time. Hey, beautifuls. Today is Saturday. And it's like about maybe new, maybe one. I'm not doing much. Well, I am doing much. But what I plan on doing today or what I'm going to continue doing, what I already started doing, editing all the videos. I really would like to get caught up in sitting in a tree because I am like eight, 
almost nine. September will be nine months behind real time. I always had a goal to get us closer to real time, but y'all know. It's just a lot trying to edit for two channels and create content for two channels. So therefore, um, I've really been um, getting a lot edited and for, for that channel. So that's what we're going to continue to do. I will also like to make some videos today for Fun and Budget. I have lots of ideas fleshed out that I want to talk about, that I want to um, sit down and record. So that would be dope to get that done too. The other thing that I'm going to do is do laundry, more laundry today. So this is our next batch of clothes that we need to fold up and put away. And then I'm going to wash clothes, which I'm about to start doing now. Those are my goals for today. I'm not going to get dressed. I'm not going outside. I'm not doing anything but those things. And then maybe look at my list and see what else I can get accomplished off of that list. All right, y'all. Just wanted, to, just wanted to check in with y'all, my great accountability partners. All right. Y'all, it's like 4.30. I only got one video edited. Um, I've been working on it ever since I woke up like at 7 this morning. Whew, you all never realize how long it takes to edit a video. And of course, there was a little bit of breaks here and there, and I've been watching videos too. But I got all of my clothes washed. All of the sheets, everything that was in my closet that needed to be washed, all that stuff is washed. The other thing I need to do is wash the comforters in the two rooms where the tenants had stayed. Now that they're gone, um, I always make sure I wash all the comforters and all of that stuff so that, you know, because that's what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to go ahead and wash at least one comforter. I give myself one thing at a time. And then after that thing is done, if I still feel like I have energy, I do something else. But until then, one thing at a time. So you listen to this toilet running. This is what I need to get fixed next. But ain't nobody got time this week. But we need to put this on the list. But in the meantime, we just turned the water off. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. All right, so you know how yesterday I said um, today I was just going to sit, edit videos, and make videos and stuff like that? The test results show that is fly. Yesterday I was on Facebook and why I arranged a play date. So I have a play date today at noon in Maryland. So I think the drive is about an hour, but I am going out to play. I'm going to tell y'all more about that later. But I actually did really good yesterday. Yesterday I edited seven, seven videos and we're not talking about shrinky dink videos we're talking about hours and hours and hours of footage i pretty much completed the entire nashville series okay so i am proud of myself because it was looking really shady i think it was like around 4 p.m i had only finished one but that video had like over an hour's worth of footage and it just took me a minute to get that down. And that was the Bell Mead Plantation Tours. Tours always take me the longest to edit because I got to re-listen to whatever it was I recorded and then just try to make it make sense for for the, for y'all, for the audience. Um, so, yeah, and try to make it interesting because y'all know um, to rehash or reshow a tour and what a tour guide may be saying can be pretty dry when you're looking at it from this perspective. But while you're there, it's all good. But yes, yeah, so I try to do those things because I do think it's important because I know that not everybody's going to get to visit places and see certain tours. So I do want to give that. Plus, I feel like even when it comes to going to plantations and stuff like that, people can be like, why support that? Blah, blah, blah. Slavery, you know, all of that. But at the same time, I feel like this. I love being an experiential learner. While we're in school, we may learn things through books and texts, but I really, it was had always been a dream of mine. <laughs> had I had kids when I could afford them, because when I had my son, I couldn't afford him. Couldn't afford him. But had I had kids that I could afford, like right now we have G, but she's like 13, so oh, she's kind of like out aging the system because there comes a point where kids just don't care. But I had always wanted to be the type that took my kids on field trips. If they were learning about, let's say, George Washington in school, I'm going to take them to Mount Vernon. I'm going to take them to, to different things to add on to that learning and also to give different perspectives because we always know that education and school systems, they have a pretty 
straightforward perspective that may or may not be the truth but we always know it's not the whole truth so I wanted to always be able to add on to those pieces of truth so with these videos that's kind of my way of doing that so thank y'all for being my kids <laughs> And watching so yeah so that's where we're at right now so I'm about to go make me some good coffee then I'm about to get dressed it's like about 9 a.m. now I got up at 7 even though I didn't go to bed till like about maybe 3 in the morning because I was editing and... all right y'all we in the car we in the car on our way to our play date so let me tell y'all so this is what had happened was y'all know we was on the Alaskan cruise and we got off the cruise Oh, but while on a cruise, I always say this is the thing. When you're on a cruise ship, it, thousands of people on a cruise ship. But for some reason, you law of attraction has you always run into the same people, the same five people, like every day, every place. It don't matter where you're at. Like we can be off the cruise doing our own thing way over there in the city and run into some of the same people who we always run into while on the cruise. So you kind of become a circle. You kind of meet each other. You kind of become friends because of that. Sometimes not all the people are the most pleasant because some of them be trying it. But for the most part, a lot of them are your people. They go, they're awesome. But I have, a, I have another lesson for the people who try it. But that's a whole other video. My lesson on that. Beautiful lesson. Love lessons. Okay. So anyways, there was this one girl on a cruise ship who I didn't meet on the ship. Um, mainly because I'm not always the type to just go and introduce myself and jump into people's experience. Unless there's a reason for it. Um, I would like to change that a little bit. Because again, you notice people. So why not just say, oh hey, boop, 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 boop. I like it when people do that to me because that's how I meet people because I'm more on the shyer side. So I do want to start doing that more. But anyways, with this person, I did not introduce myself. I did not talk to her the whole time we were on a ship. Now, she, we would always run into her either on the ship and even off of the ship. I would see her a lot. And she had a great energy about herself. And she even got in the hot seat one of the days um and talk to Abraham and ask some questions and everything like that right and so the girl also she's black and I say that because if anybody knows anything about Abraham Hicks and following Abraham Hicks and going on these cruises you don't see too many people who are black anything any ethnicity you don't see too many of us you can count us in the room in the audience so that's just another aspect of it and a lot of times with black people around the world, we have that thing in common where, oh, we're the minorities. Hey, girl, hey, I see you because we're the minorities, you know. And then we also have a lot of shared experiences, which could make us have some things in common. Just putting that out there, right? So that was that. So anyways, after the cruise, um, I'm in a Facebook group for people who went on the cruise and this is where I collect a lot of information, blah, 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 blah. So on that group, I noticed that she had put a picture of herself and, you know, some highlights from her experience and her trip and everything. But I noticed on her name tag, it has said Maryland. And I was like, oh, you live by me. So I made a comment like, hey, I didn't get a chance to meet you on a cruise ship, but I'm noticing that you in my neck of the woods. We need to have a play date. And so she was like, yeah, let's have a play date and everything. And so... Um, I put in a friend request for her and then she was like about you know about a play date and I was like hey I'm not doing anything tomorrow and I'm all about the now like yo now is now who knows what my future looks like as far as am I busy am I not busy all I know is tomorrow Sunday I'm not busy what you doing want to get together want to have a play date and so we went ahead and we set our play date for today which is so cool so that's who I'm going out to meet. And I think she will make a wonderful addition to my friend collection. I collect friends. Because um, I know how to pick them. I always pick great people in my life. And I have a sense about her that she's a great person. So I'm on my way to go meet TT. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, TT. Um, and we're meeting at a restaurant. And we're going to have a great conversation. So that's what we're doing. Y'all, right. y'all, y'all. It is like 8 o'clock literally 754 well I guess not literally 755 p.m. I am just getting back to my side of the hood
and I'm hungry again. I met with TT like around noon and we had lunch and we talked. We sat in that restaurant and talked till like 6.30 p.m. In my mind, it felt like it was 2 p.m. And when I looked at my phone, I was like, what is 6.30? So we talked from, and I had this squeaking in my car. Oh, gosh. Mm. We talked from lunch to dinner. And yes, that is like how much we were vibing and just how much. And then even when we went to the parking lot, we were in the parking lot still talking. Too funny. So good 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 day good play date good play date and we have so much in common all the things all the things in common so i'm gonna close out this video this was a really good week we got a lot accomplished and as y'all know there's always more to accomplish because you never get it finished and it is never done the journey is to be continued so until the next video guys peace thumbs up toss subscribe, talk to me in the comments, all that fun stuff. Until the next video, y'all. Bye. Y'all hear that squeaking? Just in case. I don't hear it right now. There we go. Ooh. I wonder if it's the brakes. Because I noticed when I took my foot off of the gas, the accelerator, then I heard, hear it. All right.